So, Reggie, um, you know, Drake put out an AI song with, um, or he put out a freestyle or, or a song or whatever, and he used the AI Tupac and the AI Snoop. Uh, Should commented, he, he did like a little um, reaction or, or a clip on his YouTube channel, and he said that, you know, Snoop was a part of Tupac's downfall uh, and exit when he was kind of talking about the song because he, he didn't appreciate that Drake put Snoop and Tupac on a song with each other. Did you hear this? And what are your thoughts on him continuing to, uh, you know, insinuate that Snoop had something to do with Tupac's passing? Before I put him on the song, Snoop, who was part of his uh, downfall, his exit, and never a good look. Pac was a uh, king on that chessboard. He never was a pawn, so he can't make to be a pawn now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't get it. I don't. I don't understand why Sugar is such on the gas, trying to uh, implicate Snoop Dogg into this this murder of um, of Tupac. When we all know, I mean, any, I mean, I know you say we all don't know. I know it's a small percentage of y'all, you know, the same one of y'all that like to ride on a little yellow bus with the helmets on when y'all was younger, used to play with that big old ball. <laughs> y'all remember they used to roll around, the EH kids used to have to roll around with the ball in school and all of that. I used to look at those kids and be like, damn, why they got special lunch time? Why they be out there playing with a big old ball and shit? And I know, you know, even those of y'all that's a little, was a little smarter, you just believe the world is straight. You just drive straight. You go from one part of the world <laughs> to the other on a straight line. I know it's a few of y'all out there that believes that. So I know it's a few of y'all that probably believe that what Mr. Keefe D told on several occasions before money was being offered for interviews, and all of that before Greg Cadings had made any money off of interviews and wrote books and all of that. He told all these stories before that. <laughs> and, he, and so, so you know, that's his reason for telling the stories now. But he told these stories to the Las Vegas PD, which y'all gonna learn and find out without a proper agreement. And he told the story with a proper agreement. But all this happened before interviews and YouTube was even big. <laughs> But that's his defense. But my point is about Suge. I don't get it, dog. I, you're not supposed to be a snitch and a rat and all of that. And I only know about one or two things where you really got down. We won't go into them right now. But I don't, I, I, for the life of me, I don't understand why you hate Snoop Dogg this much. And, and Andre, <laughs> I know you haven't uh, accused Andre of anything, but you won't even call the man Dr. Dre, you call him Andre. But um, but, but it's obvious to me. And I know you are very vindictive. I remember you when you used to try to get me to get somebody to, to say, a girl to go in and say so-and-so them or touch them and, and get them in trouble. So I know you have that in you, but dog, come on, man. Is that really cool what you're doing? Why are you trying to mess up this investigation? What is your motive? Why can't you just remain silent on this and, and let it play out how it has to be? Do you really want to involve your Self in this murder? Because now you already got this fucking attorney from Vegas going to mess up your... He's going to mess up your your status from that J-Cat yard that you on or, or that medical yard that you on and get you moved. You're going to be going across that desert uh, to Vegas in a van, shackled, and then going to have to sit in jail in a county jail in Vegas with Mob James, <laughs> as y'all gonna hear, I talked about, and Diddy probably, because none of y'all gonna wanna testify. Y'all ain't gonna wanna be a part of that circus. 
But you keep making statements like this, you're going to make them make you a part of this that circus. And it's going to be unfortunate. I, I really hope you're getting advised correctly if that's not what you want to do. I know when I was sitting in jail that little time, once I got comfortable, I didn't want to move. I know guys that I was in jail with, if they weren't going down to from a low to a camp, from a medium to a low, <laughs> they didn't want to move. Unless then they had problems at that particular facility. I know you ain't having no problems at your particular facility because, you know, you're not having no problems there. Because I can look at the inmates you're taking pictures with uh, that's been floating around lately on the internet. And I can tell you running that <laughs> you running that JCAT unit. <laughs> I'll just say. But uh hey bro, your friend is trying to talk to you. Somebody's trying to tell you something. That's all I'll say. Dog, listen, understand what you've really been saying lately. I know you're listening. I know people talk, and you're talking about my interviews and disappointing me in what I'm saying. But I also know you listen when Red's talking. And things resonate when you go back and lay down in that cell, when you're not sitting in the cell like a whale telling tales. When you go sit in that cell and think, you lay up up in the ceiling on that iPad or whatever and be like, damn, I am dry snitching. I am trying to get inserted in this case. I am trying to get the nigga that supposedly killed my little brother, nigga I love, which I believe. And nobody can't take that away. You love Tupac Shakur. But why are you trying to help Keefe D? We don't have to put people in jail. I agree. Your mentality and all of that, I agree. You don't want to be snitching and doing all that. But you ain't got to be playing law enforcement either. As you said on ABC. If you knew who killed Tupac, would you tell the police? Absolutely not. I mean, because, you know, I don't Why know. not? Because it's, it's not my job. I don't get paid to solve homicides. I don't get paid to tell people. That's not your job. Is it your job to un unwind the case? Because you throwing out all of the accusations about Snoop Dogg, Crooked Cops, Sharitha, Reggie, and all of that being involved in the murder of Tupac. You causing people to have doubts, though. Because you have a powerful name, a powerful voice. Think about what you're doing. That would be my only advice. Big dog.